Hey everybody, Soda Hunter here. I am right now done for the day in Edwards, Mississippi. And I have a uh, soda I want to try. And there's a couple of things that kind of bother me about it, but you know, what the heck, I want to try something new. It is called a uh, Flathead Lake Gourmet Soda. And they got a few flavors, and the particular one I have now is uh, strawberry orange. You can see right there, strawberry orange. And it's got that uh, dragon logo on the bottle cap also. So it's a clear bottle. You can barely see it's clear because they uh, they filled it up. <laughs> I haven't had a soda that's been that filled. Usually they're you know down here, maybe you know, somewhere in here. But that thing is filled right up to the top of it. Um, it says on the, uh, first of all, the label, it's pretty neat looking. It's got that dragon, but it's kind of cheap looking. Uh, it is just a sticker. It just peels right off. Um, just a plain glass bottle with a sticker on it. It uh, has a couple things list listed on the uh, front of it here. Montana's Legendary Soda. Gourmet soda, handcrafted. That bothers me because when I read the ingredients, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, sodium benzoate, food starch modified, glycerol, esterol, wood rosin, yellow number six, brominated so soybean oil, red 40, and BHA. Um, that doesn't sound handcrafted to me. It, uh, I found this at a Rouse's supermarket, and they had a uh, pack of four of them for $2.99, so that tells you it's cheap. It's just a cheap soda, but it's something new I haven't tried before. Who knows? I might like it, so let's see. Twist off. Nothing underneath the cap. Just plain old cap there. All right. It has a Kool-Aid smell to it. It has that really overly, overly uh, syrupy smell. Maybe uh, it might be just because strawberry orange is kind of a flavor familiar with Kool-Aid with me. And I'm not really a big fan of Kool-Aid. You know, some people love it, some people don't like it. I don't like it too much, but that's just me. It smells okay. It just smells like Kool-Aid overly syrupy like Kool-Aid is. So, strawberry orange Kool-Aid. And it's... Let's see. Oh, that's got a weird aftertaste to it. It has a... Uh... The aftertaste is that of something that's been um, run through machines a lot. You know, I don't know if you don't know what I'm talking about, but you gotta get a uh, mechanical vibe to it. Something I don't I don't know how to explain it, but that's the first thing that pops in my head with the aftertaste is mechanics. You know, something, uh, some equipment. You know, something like that. Really don't like that aftertaste. That is not good. <laughs> it's not good. It It isn't overly sweet. It smells sweeter than it tastes. But the taste is very underwhelming. Uh, try, to, try to digest this here. You kind of get some orange soda in there. I don't taste much of the strawberry at all. But there's some orange. I definitely taste some orange. It's just, the orange isn't very strong. Uh, the carbonation level's okay. It's a decent soda as far as that goes. But it's just cheap. That's all I can, that's all I can say. It tastes cheap. And it is cheap. It looks cheap. It tastes cheap. Its ingredients are cheap. And it is cheap at Rouse's. Two ninety nine for a four pack. And if you know anything about glass sodas, uh, when you get them by the four pack at these supermarkets, usually they're at least five dollars or at least four dollars. At least you pay a dollar per bottle. And this, 
just don't don't worry about these. If you see these Flathead Lake, uh, those are uh, yeah, Flathead Lake handcrafted gourmet sodas. That's a lie, and that's a lie. There's nothing handcrafted about this thing. Um, maybe once a long time ago, but not now. It's cheap, cheap, and you can taste the machinery in it. That's nasty. Okay. Well, that's disappointing, and uh, I have another one of those, too, uh, in the fridge right now, waiting on it, so I'm not looking forward to that. Oh, well. Better luck next time. If you like this video, follow me on Twitter at Soda underscore Hunter, Facebook.com slash Soda Hunter Kevin. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment. Have you had one of those? Have you had a Flat Lake Gourmet handcrafted soda? A bottle full of lies? Have you had that? If you haven't, don't worry about it. If you have, I'm sorry. You know what I'm going through. Disappointment all the way around. And uh, till next time, thank you guys for watching.